Daimler-Benz in Berlin. Engineer Sandra Neuwirth is in her element. Hier haben wir den Öltest für die Motoren. She's fascinated by technology and she likes nothing more than to share her enthusiasm with others. Today she's giving a group of students a tour of the factory floor. She introduces them to a mechanic who shows them how a motor is assembled. When Sandra Neuwirth began her studies 19 years ago, women were a rarity in the male-dominated world of engineering. I experienced some interesting situations back then. There were 20 men in the mechanics lecture. I went through the door and was met with a chorus of, what's she doing here? That was how it began. And whenever a woman is employed, the first question is always the same. What does she look like? That was what my first boss was asked. Next up, a meeting with her team. Hello. The boreholes in this water pump are too small. They discuss the options, and she suggests taking the piece of equipment down to the training workshop. Sandra Neuwirth is always ready to listen to what the team has to say. We work in the area of modification management. My colleagues oversee the entire process, monitoring every step of the way, from coming up with the changes needed for a component to the practical implementation and delivery. They schedule the process and introduce the modification to the production line. The engineer takes the water pump to the trainees to see how they can improve it. She explains to them what the problem is and how she'd like to see it addressed. Sandra Neuwirth knows how vital the next generation is, which is why she works with the Association of German Engineers. In June, she was voted onto its board. The way I see it, it's not very easy to join existing networks, and it's especially hard when those networks are dominated by men. But it's not impossible. If you're good at your job, ready to take responsibility and not afraid of challenges, then you can get somewhere and people will support you. In the afternoon, she has an unscheduled meeting with the managers. Technical professions are still very much a man's world here in Germany. Only 22% of engineering graduates are women. This is where camshafts are manufactured. Sandra Neuwirth discusses reprogramming this milling machine with her colleagues. Being hands-on is important to her, getting to know who does what and how. Sandra Neuwirth says that knowing your workforce helps build up trust and avoid errors.